this is a lot pinker than I thought it that I thought it what hey guys what's up it's Shelby and welcome back to my channel so today I'm so excited I just got this in the mail today <laughs> I am so freaking excited you have no idea this came so quick like this came out on what like Tuesday and it was like it got here today so it like took it was either Wednesday or Thursday Tuesday I don't remember anyways it came in less than a week so that is dope as hell so I have the Morphe Jeffree Star um, artistry palette so on the back there's Jeffree Star oh my god I'm a sucker for packaging <laughs> like I kept my um, Jaclyn Hill like for forever so um, yeah so on the back of the palette um, this is just the box that it comes in. There's Jeffrey. There's a little message. And then I'm thinking this is the ingredients. Yeah. So, on the back it says, Hi, how are ya? Oh my god, I can hear it in his voice. Like, <laughs> um, it says, We all know I live for making a bold statement, especially with my makeup. The world needs color, and I'm serving it up by the pound. I'm so excited to once again create magic with Morphe and bring this beyond stunning palette of velvety vivid shades to life into your hands all jeffree star approved and created for all of you one touch and it'll be and you'll be hooked so dive in and explore your creativity love plus lipstick jeffree star that's so cute um i think it's cute that it says all jeffree star approved like tm like it's like like, I don't know if you can see, but it's got, like, the little thingy right there. Like, <laughs> I think that's cute. So, um, this came, like, all bubble wrapped in, like, this big box. And then the palette came, um, bubble wrapped too, but I took the bubble wrap off. So, this is the palette. It looks just like the box. I love it. Look at it. <laughs> it's so pretty. On the back, it just says artistry palette. And then it says it in, I'm thinking, Spanish. And so, this is the palette. You open it up, and it's got a big mirror, and on the top it says Morphe Jeffree Star, and it comes with a little paper thingy, and then all the shades. <sighs> this shade. Oh, I have not touched a single shade in this palette yet. Um, I'm so excited. So, I'm going to start off with swatches of all of these shades. Um, Oh my god, that is so cute. I'm reading the shades, and the first couple shades are welcome like this one is welcome hold on okay this one is welcome back to my channel that's so cute and then it says one noise on this one it says one noise i think that is so cute um like that that's like the first row that was really smart on his part like to do that you know like welcome back to my channel with like the wand noise that is that's everything so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these um if you don't want to see the swatches i will put a timestamp um right here of when it is um the tutorial so we have welcome back to my channel one noise on the second row we have lynn 1985 mog mogul mogul <laughs> i don't know how to say that um self-made dog mom and honest truth on the third row, we have Designer Label, Mr. Diva, Boss Angeles, Pink Fleet, Calabasas, and Don't Know Her. The fourth row, we have Rolls With It, Millions, Girl. What's the tea? Vroom vroom. Custom rims. And on the last row we have Glam Rapids. Wake and Bake. Nate. Drive through. Hi dude. <laughs> and fast lane. Oh, okay. 
little review of these swatches. Um, this stain, <laughs> this shade right here stained my arm just a little bit, but it is definitely 10 times better than the Wet n Wild one. The Wet n Wild really stained my arm. Like, I got it off, like, after I used a couple wipes and stuff after I kept doing swatches, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, this shade, this red shade up here has a little bit of, like, a satiny matte to it, um, which I kind of like because I want that red to be able to go in my crease, you know what I mean? Not just like on my lid. So I really like that. Um, this shade right here actually surprised me the most right here. Because I didn't think it was going to be that intense and that like champagne-y. Because um, it doesn't look like much in the pat in that little pan. But oh, oh the mal, like oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, also this shade I probably will never use. Um, I'm not a big fan of like, glitter shades like that. Like, uh, there is a glitter shade in the um, Bad Habit Athena palette, and I never use it. I just don't like glitter um, because it gets everywhere when you wipe it off, and I hate having, like, glitter all over. It bugs me, so I will probably never really use that shade on my eyes. I might use it on somebody else if they like glitter, but personally, for me, I wouldn't use it just because it's glitter, but it is a beautiful, beautiful glitter. Like, swatching it, it was gorgeous like i'm not you know that's just personal preference um but yeah also this greeny gold it was so pretty like and they were all like pretty super um like like all the mattes were super soft touch um this shade right here was actually a little hard some of the shimmers are a little pressed a little harder but they swatched beautifully like it wasn't like there was no pigment to them they are just a little harder in the pan but like all of the mattes were super buttery and soft to the touch so yeah i am also really excited that there's like a gray shade i don't know why but like i like gray shadows because they're not as intense as a black and they'll do kind of the same thing but um i was actually like looking for a gray the other day and i went in with um this palette the sultry palette by um profusion there is like a gray shade called slick right here but it's not that gray it's kind of black so this one is actually looks lighter than the black shade like that one looks pretty similar like this one looks significantly lighter than the black so i like that so let's just get right into a look i think i'm going to recreate the look that he did with this so i gotta go look that up because i kind of like the two eye different thing you know so i'm gonna do that also i think my boyfriend is gonna buy me <laughs> the setting spray to this because he asked me what the palette was called and i told him and he goes so I guess I'm gonna get he said I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna get that instead I was like what do you mean and he goes never mind forget what I said and I was like I was like if you're gonna buy me anything buy me the setting spray <laughs> and he goes I'm not buying you anything I may or may not and then he was like I asked him what he was doing and he goes um I'm not looking it up if that's what you're asking and I was like okay so I I, I think my boyfriend is gonna buy me the setting spray and if he does I will cry because <laughs> I love when people like buy me stuff without me having to ask them. I don't know. I'm weird like that. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my um, Essence I Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. Um, per usual, I love this stuff. I just ran out of one. Like I went through a whole one, and I have this one now, and I need to get another one because I'm scared I'm gonna run out of this one. In with 1985, which is right here. Not a ton of kick up, but there is some. Oh, this has a. <laughs> What am I doing? I'm just like admiring it. I forgot that there's actually a mirror in it. And I'm just going to run that through my crease on my right eye. <laughs> yeah, this is like almost my skin color, but it's like a shade darker. And I kind of like that because it's like a nice like light transition shade. So now I'm going to go in with the shade under it called Mr. Diva right here. Again, not a ton of kick up when you put your brush into it and I'm not mad about it. And do the same thing, but lower. That literally just like blended out no effort. Like, okay, Hefri. I like Hef I like saying that because it reminds me of Maria Gloria, who says Hefri like with her like thick Spanish accent. I love her. I'm gonna use Channel right here, um, and I'm taking a Morphe M513. This one has a little more kick up, but it's all good. I'm gonna pack it on my outer. Oh, this is pink. 
I'm just going to run this in my crease. That blended out like a dream. I literally didn't have to do anything. Um, so now I'm going to take Boss Angeles right here and do the same thing on the same brush. This one doesn't have that much keep up. I'm just going to pack it again, kind of pink, but that's okay. It's kind of red toned more than like on the brown side, but that's okay. I'm gonna take a little baby brush. This is the Morphe M562 and I'm going to go in Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take What's the T right here, and I'm actually just going to run that all over my, like, everywhere. Like, tap it off and, like, run it through everywhere to kind of give it a little bit more of a cool look. Instead of this, like, super ready tone. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, now I'm going to take the deep shade down here called Hi Dude. That one had a kind of a bit of kick up, but that's okay. Like I said, I don't mind kick up, so I'm not worried about it. And I'm just going to pack this on my outer corner. It's so good. So now I'm going to go in with, first I'm going to go in with the shade drive through right here, and I'm going to wipe this brush off. Okay, I'm going to go in with it dry first, and I'm going to put pack this like on the outer third of my eye, like kind of in the middle oh she's got follow okay but do you see that like that's like dry that's gorgeous um i really there's quite a bit of follow under here so i have to clean that up but i'm gonna try a little bit of spray just to see how it looks even though you probably really wouldn't need it Oh yeah, see when you spray it, it brings out more of the golden look almost to it rather than the green, but I kind of like it. Cute. Okay, I'm going to wipe it off again and go in with the shade Glam Rapids. Um, if you don't know, that means that they're kind of going off Grand Rapids and I'm from Michigan, so rep. This brush is pretty dry now, so I'm going to just take it dry again. And pack this on the inner corner. That's super pretty. Alright, again, I'm going to wet it and try it on top. Because why the heck not? Oh, yes. Okay, sweetie, work. And I'm just going to take a little bit more of drive through just to blend them together like pencil brush and I'm going to take the shade Nate right here and I'm just going to put this kind of close to my waterline. How is it just had a pretty smoky under eye. So that's what we're gonna do. And now I'm going to take this little brush right here and go in with the shade Wake and Bake to blend it out. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so now for my inner corner, I'm going to actually, let's see. I'm gonna go in with the shade of Welcome up in the top right here. I'm going to go in with the shade Lynn right here and I'm going to put that on my brow bone because I don't really like a sparkly brow bone that's that's just not me all right I gotta do this eye now but for this side it was beautiful the shades blended out fantastic um they worked so good this shade right here is a little less intense than I thought it was gonna be, but like, I'm also not mad about it. Um, it looks so pretty, so I'm not mad. I actually really like this. The green shades are gorgeous. Like, I feel like sometimes with green shades, when you blend them out, they lose their pigment. And I feel like these ones didn't. I feel like they just blended nicely and you can still see that it's like a dark and a light green, you know what I mean? 
Um, so I'm really impressed. So let's go do this eye, which is going to be the pink side. I'm just going to wipe my brushes off and I'm going to first take the shade My right here and run it through my crease. Now I'm going to take the shade back right here on the same brush. <laughs> yeah, that one's more pinky than the other one, actually. So now I'm going to take the shade Self Made right here, and I'm actually going to take it on a on that Morphe brush. Yeah, this one has some kick up, which I kind of expected because most pink shades do. So I'm gonna pack this on my outer corner and then blend it into the crease. Oh yeah, this shade screams Jeffree Star to me. It's like that baby pink, like, oh yeah. I'm going to take some of Pink Fleet right here and I'm just going to put that in my crease pretty low. Okay, and then I'm going to take another, a different um, Morphe M562, and I'm going to take the shade um, Mogul, Mogul, I don't know how to say it, it's that purple shade, and I'm just going to put this on my outer corner. gonna take this brush again and just blend it out a little even though it's pretty much blended <laughs> um all right so for my lid i'm going to take don't know her which is right here i'll try it dry first yeah, but i feel like it's not super sparkly so let's wet it I totally just sprayed that in the wrong direction. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely what is the way to go. It almost looks a little bit more purpley pink, which I was kind of going for. For my lower lash line, I'm going to take, where did it go? I just saw it over here. <laughs> I'm going to take the purple shade that we used on a little brush like this and put it really close to the lash line, just on the outer corner. Then I'm going to wipe this pencil brush off and take the shade Pink Fleet and put it right next to it. Take Self Made. This brush again and wipe it off and take the shade back mix with my and blend it out and I'm just going to take a little bit more of muggle and press it right here alrighty and I'm gonna put these same shades on my inner corner and my brow bone That side was super easy to blend out and it is gorgeous like it's so pink and juicy so yeah um i used pretty much i used a lot of shades i used pretty much the whole i used welcome back my and channel i used lynn 1985 muggle self-made and i used mr diva boss angeles pink fleet don't know her um what's the tea Glam Rapids, Wake and Bake, Nate, Drive Through, and Hi Dude. So I used quite a bit um, of these shades and they are so good. This is so worth the money, but honestly, I didn't expect anything less or more from him to be honest. Like this palette is so good. So I'm really actually happy that he came out with a palette with Morphe that is a cheaper brand because me being me, 
just like where I'm at with money and stuff, I cannot afford a Jeffree Star palette like from his brand, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, because they are too pricey. So I feel like this is a good thing for him that he did to give people who can't afford a $50 palette that can, I, you know, that can do 35. I think this was 35, something like that. I think that is awesome of him that he did it with Morphe. That is a lower, you know, price point for people. So um, I really like that. Um, and it is so good. I've never tried an actual Jeffree Star um, eyeshadow palette, but I would imagine it would be something like this because I don't think he would do anything less. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, but I love this. I'm definitely going to be using this a lot on my channel. <laughs> um, so yeah. That is it for this review. I'm gonna put some lashes and stuff on and take some pictures for Instagram. So yes, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. They will all be linked down below. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you guys wanna see next down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.